Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's me, Michelle. So today I'm doing my top five things that you need for becoming a minimal planner. Honestly, any planner, really. Um, so first I'm gonna start with the obvious. When you do minimal planning, having a good highlighter is nice. A lot of people like to use uh, use Tombow uh, dual brush pens as highlighters because they have very soft colors. They're very pretty. Um, and you they have like very minimal color to it. But if you like to add some more color, well, you could still use this gray as a minimal color as well. But you can use like pinks and um, purples, blues and stuff if you want to add more pops of color to your planner. Because some days you may actually want that. So having a good highlighter, even if you don't uh, use do minimal planning, is still good. But especially if you do minimal planning. So for instance, say, let's just... I normally highlight the area first. So you have um, an appointment coming up that is really important. You can pick a highlight color that you like and then just write in that appointment. So that way when you go to your, um, your planner, your eye will go towards what's important. So appointment at 3 p.m. You get an example. So then that's highlighted. But again, you can use any kind of highlighter that you like, any color. But people who I see doing minimal planning or minimalistic planning typically use um, the brush pen as their highlighter. The next thing, talking about pens, is a good pen. So um, one of my favorite pens is the Sharpie Edge Gel Pen. It's 0.7. I really like how it writes. And the Sharpie pen, this is the felt tip one. I really like how this one right as well. You can see, I use it quite a bit. So these are my two favorite pens. Honorable mention is the um, Paper Mate Ink Joy pen. I really like these this pen as well. So a really good pen uh, to write with it is going to be very helpful. Let me, I'll just show you guys a quick pen test of these three pens that I like. So this is Sharpie, and then this is Sharpie, and then this is Inkjoy. So I really like these pens. So having a good pen to write your plans with is always going to be necessary. Next, I will also say another um, important item to have would be some correction tape. Because again, if you don't use a lot of stickers, you'll need something to correct your mistakes. So say you wrote your appointment was at three and your appointment is actually at four. And this is the Tombow correction tape. So then you can just put that out and then say 4 p.m. So it's good to have good correction tape. Because you, <laughs> trust me when I say it's hard to write on some correction tape. Tombow makes really good correction tape. So if you need to correct something, you'll be able to correct it without it affecting uh, your planner. Next, I'm going to say is some dot stickers. So minimal dot color dot stickers is great. You can put, say if you have an undated planner, or if you want to highlight something, you can put, um, say for instance, today is the... 23rd it's not really 23rd on today but if it was then you could take um one of your dot stickers especially if you want to add a little something but you don't want it to be too much and then you can just like put it over the 23rd to kind of highlight your dates you can do that as well and again if you want to have some color there are some really pretty colorful dot stickers as well that you can use. I got these off of AliExpress and I got these from E. Michelle. I love the different sizes. Um, it has the same kind of color pattern. So for days you want to have more color, you can use dot stickers like this as well. Last but certainly not least is some good sticky notes. So these are from cloth and paper. This is from cloth and paper. And um, you can use these to highlight stuff. You can use it um, in your inbox section. I use these on the days of the month in my monthly planner. 
um, from cloth and paper, my A5 size one. So if I know I need to highlight a date, I'll put this there. I'll typically just use these um, if I need to um, focus on something. I just like if it's a date and event or something like that. These are transparent. I got these from Amazon. They were really good price. I can't remember how much, but they're a good price. And um, you can use these to like write notes to yourself or to put a sticky note on something that you need to remember. And you can use these to make task cards. You use these as page flags. Um, you can use these for whatever you want. I have this set and um, this design in these color schemes. So this color scheme has this set, the white with the color, and then this set as well. So I have both color schemes and all of the different designs. Then you can never go wrong with some regular white sticky notes and some black sticky notes. Because with the black ones, you can use some um, like metallic pens and stuff like that to write on. And let's see. Is a metallic marker so you can use these to write on the black sticky notes look how pretty that is so you want to add something a little different have some pop to it like even the blue looks really nice on the black so you can use your um you can use your your stuff for that so i really like the black sticky notes um for that and so these are my Top five recommended products for minimalist planning, really any planning that you're doing because these things can be used in all types of planners. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in another video. Peace.